When my friend Harry Campbell, the rideshare guy, reaches out to me and says, Torsten, listen, I've met with the solo team. They are fantastic. Go check it out. Here's a link to the article. Um, I vouch for them. And this is someone I look up to in the industry that I respect, that really introduced me uh, to a lot of things in the rideshare business. And it's truly thanks, I would say, to... Thanks to Harry and Randy that I made all the money uh, leasing out vehicles, etc. I don't think I wouldn't have gotten into this ind industry had I not come across their videos in the first place many years ago. So Uber and Convoy Vets is a veteran's land. $5.3 million for new startup solo that helps gig workers make more money. Now, I don't know why they broke away from Uber, but they obviously had vision. They obviously wanted to pursue bigger things in life and they went out and got 5.3 million dollars and they left uber and started their own company firstly congratulations that takes a lot of courage and a lot of ambition and a lot of willpower to do that i congratulate this team behind me so let's dive into the story uh, here we have um, one two three four five smiling faces the solar team members from left keith NG co-founder Araceli Benitez, growth lead, Bryce Bennett, CEO and co-founder Keith Ho, software engineer. I'm blocking out their faces, sorry. And Tushara Viji Ratna, founding and lead engineer. There they are, those five. Let's just call them the five amigos. Gig economies, gig economy companies such as Uber, Instacart, GoPuff and others have given workers a new way to earn money. On their own schedule but with the flexibility comes a certain level of income instability sufficient work and regular paychecks are not always guaranteed as they are in a traditional nine to five job that's where solo comes in solo solo mio oh solo mio the new seattle startup solo which just announced a 5.5 million seed round aims to help gig workers by providing hour by hour earning predictions over the course of a week. I like it already. Solo is so sure of its data that the company offers a guarantee making up the difference for workers if they end up earning less. Wow, that is putting your money, that is putting your mouth, you know, behind your product, right? The predictions use aggregated historical data from solo users, as well as potential impact of real-time events. The idea is to give workers a better understanding. Here it comes. The two biggest factors I've been preaching for years and years and years of when and where. Again, when and where and what job to work across the various platforms. This, my friends, is a recipe for success. I, I don't even have to read further. I already know these guys are going to fly, right? Because this is what I preach, when and where. So I, right there and then they have me, sign me up, right? But let's carry on. Maybe there's more. Solo's larger vision is to provide additional help to gig workers related to insurance taxes, mileage tracking, and more. We've always felt that the deck is kind of stacked against gig workers. Absolutely right said Bryce Bennett, solo co-founder and CEO. They don't have a lot of tools or information to actually be effective or efficient with their time. It's kind of a guessing game. Bennett, Bennett founded Solo last year with Keith NG. They spent time together working in Seattle and Portland for Uber and trucking startup Convoy. The experience at each company gave them a close look at the challenges faced by independent contractors part of a gig economy that has grown over the past decade, in part due to tech-fueled services like Uber. Devin Yanza is one of those workers. He left his traditional full-time job three years ago in Seattle because he never wanted to be an employee again. He's using Solo to help figure out when to work for Uber, Lyft, Grubhub, and DoorDash. His earnings have increased 30% since using the app. It's a very useful tool, Yanza said. So here's a couple of really cool screenshots. Um, I'm going to 
if Harry provides me more information, we can really go into those screenshots and start talking about the services, right? But this is an introduction to Solo, and I would truly love, and I'm, I'm, I'm reaching out to Harry here, hopefully you're listening, I would truly like to do a follow-up video with this team and have them explain and walk us through the app. The surge of different gig work opportunities over the past five years has created a need for something like Solo, said Bennett. Um, it, it's advantageous for workers to use multiple platforms, but that also increases complexity. It's great for workers that there are so many more options now, but it makes the calculus of knowing when and where, what jobs to work, way more complicated than when it was just with Uber and Lyft. He said, earnings can fluctuate from one day to the next. The graph below shows DoorDash, Uber and shipped hourly earnings on a Tuesday last week. Check that out, right? Check that out. Green is shipped, uh, red is DoorDash, and the black one is Uber. And you just check out those graphs, what's exactly happening at what time, right? DoorDash, Uber, and Instacart, Tuesday hourly earnings. There you could see that at AM, it was peaking at its highest with Uber at $38 per hour. Um, the very lowest here, it looks like um, with shipped at 4 p.m., you're making about $12, $13. So this, this graph gives you a lot of data. There are other startups offering tools to gig workers, but Bennett said Solo's earnings predictions are unique. Solo has a number of well-known investors, such as former Amazon consumer CEO Jeff Wilkie and former Uber general counsel Sal Yu. Slow Ventures led the seed round. Managing director Kevin Colloran said his firm has already been thinking about the idea of Solo, so investing was a quick decision. We believe Solo is uniquely positioned to solve the key problems around financial and professional instability and are excited to help empower those making a living with app-based work, he said via email. Now, one, one little worry here, I hope, hope, I truly hope they've completely cut their ties from Uber and that they are an independent company and that there's no collaboration. But I'm sure, you know, once their non-competes, etc., ran out, they could go out and do whatever they wanted to, which they did. They formed Solar. There are more than 1,000 workers on Solo. The five-person company plans to expand beyond Seattle. Later this year, the app is free to use for now. But Bennett said there are plans for premium services. Other backers include Expa, Red Sea, Fuse, Ascent, Harry Campbell, the ride chair guy, Dan Lewis, Convoy CEO, Rob Hayes, First Round Capital, and Kindergarten and You. Fund run by David Rosenthal, a former principal at Madrona Venture Group and co-host of the Acquired Podcast. So without doubt, Harry Campbell has shares in this company, right? Once I learned about what Bryce and Keith wanted to accomplish with Solo, the need was so obvious and the market opportunity so large that it was a total no-brainer to invest. So Harry Campbell, um, I would love to do a follow up a video. I'm very happy that you are on their team. I'm very happy that you are inv advising these gentlemen and that you are on perhaps on the board. Uh, you deserve that position. You've worked hard and I wish Solo nothing but the best. We will back them. We will support them because when and where are the two Big things that I started preaching on day one. So this is like music to my ears. This is like basically confirming everything that I've been talking about for years is now coming out on an app. Go solo. Have a great one.